Hello and welcome to NewJerseyMonthly.com. I'm Emily Faraday here with our senior editor Eric Levin and we're here to bring you the editor's picks for things to do for the week of June 8th through the 14th. So Eric is going to kick it off. Thank you, Em. You're welcome. <laughs> hey folks, the first ever Jersey Shore Fine Arts Festival will be held this Saturday and Sunday the 13th and 14th at the Ethel Jacobson Field in Ship Bottom on Long Beach Island. And this outdoor event will feature lots of high-end artwork. About 200 artists, in fact, will be bringing their, their work, and that includes sculpture, jewelry, painting, furniture, clothing. You'll get to meet some of the artists, and among those that you'll meet will be Point Pleasant artist Beth Carver. Uh, the festival will be Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sunday, 10 to 5, and free admission and free parking. Yay! Hey, more details, you want to go to JerseyShoreArtFest.com. And now, back to Emily. Okay, I have another uh, type of festival that you can go to down in South Jersey this weekend, and that's the Delaware Bay Days. And this is the largest free festival in the tri-state area. Um, and it's sponsored and hosted by the Bayshore Discovery Project. Uh, it's going to be held um, in different historic fishing villages along the Maurice River, um, in towns including Bivalve, Port Norris, um, Shell Pile, and at the East Point Lighthouse. And um, it's really just to celebrate the state's uh, maritime history and, and the natural beauty of the Delaware Bay, which um, we have an upcoming story about in our July issue, so be sure to check that one out. Um, but at the, at the event, there will be street parade, mini golf for the kids, um, blue crab races, an oyster shucking contest, poetry contest, all sorts of things to check out. Um, and you can also take a tour of New Jersey's official tall ship, uh, the historic A.J. Meerwald. So uh, it sounds like a great day. And then that night, there's an evening concert, a lighted book, boat parade, and fireworks. Um, so for all the details about this Bay Days, you can go to ajmeerwald.org. Um, and then during the week on Wednesday, uh, down in Tom's River, it's the kickoff of the Tom's River Farmer's Market um, at Huddy Park. And the market, it runs through October 28th every Wednesday. Um, and it's a great place to, to snatch up all that Jersey Fresh produce. Um, and right about now is a good time for strawberries, zucchini, um, and peas. So they're like in season right now. Uh, but you can also check out uh, homemade beekeeper's honey, uh, homemade pickles, specialty breads, all sorts of items. Uh, the market's open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the Wednesdays, and you can get the details at downtowntomsriver.com. And uh, Eric has uh, one more festival, lots of festivals this weekend. And this is a food fest, so you know it's, it's uh, near and dear to my heart. This is the New Jersey Seafood Festival. Uh, which will be the 23rd annual uh, Saturday and Sunday, 13th, 14th, Silver Lake Park in Belmar. Now, about 150,000 people are expected to arrive, and this is uh, why, because there'll be master chefs from, excuse me, from all over the state, uh, whipping up things like uh, shrimp, sushi, conch fritters, lobster, um, fresh fish, wine tastings, and there's also arts and crafts and entertainment, live entertainment, uh, and children's activities too. So uh, the hours are 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., and you can find out more uh, about the festival, and all you have to do is go to belmar.com. No, no <laughs> forward compound URLs here, just belmar.com. Might have just search for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's on the homepage somewhere. Right. Yeah. Nothing for nothing for me to misinterpret. Just <laughs> Belmar.com. Okay, on to dining. Well, this month's in our June issue, right back here, our shore issue. Uh, the lead dining review is of a wonderful restaurant in Montclair called Blue B L U, and the chef Saad Arife uh, is really one of the most creative and talented chefs. Uh, I think I've I've ever um, met and uh, and whose food you know I've I've eaten. Um, the thing about Zod, I mean, a lot of chefs can be creative, and creativity can be good or bad. But he has such a terrific, maybe instinctive feeling for food and flavor combinations, 
for things that just go together exceptionally well. Like he makes a very good crispy sweetbreads with a red cabbage and apple slaw that's awfully good and it comes with a raisin puree which just sets off the, the sweetbreads perfectly. He also makes I think just about the best duck I've ever had and he serves it with caramelized turnips and they have such a nice uh, a firm but uh, not too firm texture. And the sweetness of the caramelization is not just on the outside. Somehow he gets the whole turnip in, even inside to feel a little sweet. Uh, that's a great dish. And he makes a terrific hanger steak. Uh, one of my favorite dishes is his coconut chili broth with, sea, with seafood dumplings. I could have that every day. <laughs> I would like to have that every day. <laughs> anyway, you can have it at just about every day at Blue in Montclair. Uh, the other thing to know about Blue is that it is truly uh, some of the best food you'll find anywhere in the state and rivals that of uh, the best restaurants in New York. However, the prices are insane, um, insanely low, just amazing. The most expensive entree is about $24. And and most everything is under that. So uh, it's a tremendous bargain uh, for really wonderful food, and I hope you go and uh, check it out. It's really worth it. Okay, folks, um, I guess we are wrapped up for this week, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye.